Joining us tonight, the man who quarterbacked this whole thing, and I want to say that had it not been for Bernie Sanders, we would not be at this point and have a chance to address this crisis in this country. Chairman of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, Senator, good to have you with us tonight. At this hour, where are we on this bill? Is this really going to happen? Yeah, the House passed it yesterday by a very strong vote, and I expect that we'll have a vote within a few hours right here, and we will pass it. Okay. Senator, w w uh, does it take a crisis like this for Congress to do anything? And I, and I, I, I don't mean to sound terribly politically jaded here, but it seems to me that the Republicans didn't want to go home waving the flag saying they support the troops when they left the veterans behind. How much well, did that play into any of this? Well, I think that's exactly right. Look, everybody understands that when you send people off to war and they come back with all kinds of injuries, with post-traumatic stress disorder, with traumatic brain injury, without legs, without arms, you have a moral responsibility to make sure they get the benefits and the care that they are entitled to. And right now, there's no secret, there are very long waiting lines in, medic, in VA facilities all over this country. It's an issue that we have to address. This bill does that. How far does it go to solve the problems that were in front and center weeks ago in it dealing with the backlog? I mean, will, will this really alleviate the problem? It's going to go a long way, but not as far as I would like. It will be good for a year, year and a half. I think we're going to have to come back and discuss this issue again. What it does do, Ed, is first provide $10 billion in emergency funding to make sure that every veteran in this country who's in the VA will be able to get to see a doctor inside or outside of the VA community health center or what. So we're going to deal with the waiting list that way. Second of all, we're putting $5 billion to make sure that the VA has the doctors and nurses, medical personnel, and space that they need so that in the future, when veterans come into the VA, they're going to get quality care and they're going to get it in a timely manner. Thirdly, if you live a long distance away from a VA, uh, more than 40 miles, you'll be able to go to a private doctor within your community. So this is a very, very good start. I have the feeling we're going to need to do more work. But for the next year, year and a half, I think the VA is going to be in pretty good shape. So, so Senator, how soon after this is signed by the president do you expect this bill to have an impact? When will veterans know that it's a different ball game? Well, as soon as the rules can be implemented. But I think we're moving pretty quickly. Right now, already, the VA has aggressively reached out to those veterans on waiting lists, getting them into uh, private facilities. They'll be able to do that now much better uh, in the coming months. Senator, does this, uh, you know, show that Congress can do something? I mean, there's not a whole lot happening. I mean, well, what, and it had not been for you, this would not have uh, unfolded in a positive well, manner. And if you have people who are serious about addressing real problems, of course things can happen. In this case, John McCain, a Republican, came forward, said he wanted to work with me, and we were able to get it through the Senate. Je Jeff Miller, the chairman of the House committee is a serious guy. He wanted to make something happen. We were able to bring the House and the Senate together. Bottom line is that this country today faces enormous problems. If there is a will on the House part, on the Republican part side, which we have not yet seen in most respects, of course we can make things happen. And is it an absolute disgrace that given the problems facing this country, Congress has done so little? How hard was it for the Republicans to fork out $17 billion? Well, it's going to be $12 billion because some of that is offset within the VA. This is yeah. not easy for them. But I think the case that we made over and over again, and that the American people understand it, is taking care of veterans is as much a cost of war as the cost of wars and tanks and guns. The American people understand that. That's what they wanted. And that's eventually where the Republicans came, uh, came to us with. Senator Bernie Sanders, congratulations, great work. Thank you for what you're doing for America. Thank uh, you, Ed. I think that you're giving the taxpayers yeah. their money's worth. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. Coming up, a new pipeline.